I'm going to try to show you as quickly as I can how to print uh, and what your final product should look like. Uh, number one, uh, up at the top, uh, this information up here, you have the opportunity to increase the font sizes here. Uh, so um, if you just basically select things and make sure you're on the home tab, you can uh, increase the font size. Uh, you can even play around with the fonts a little bit as well. Just make sure that it's a readable font and it's not too uh, difficult to read. Uh, this stuff down here, if you decide to resize it a little bit and or change the font, keep in mind you may have to resize the columns as well uh, a little bit. Although I have noticed that when you resize the columns, for some reason, the f the charts on the left hand side become really really wide, and the charts on the left and the right hand side don't really change. In order to fix that, click on the ones on the left, grab the side little bar. You'll see a couple little dots right here. Grab that, shrink it up a little bit, and then these other graphs you're just gonna have to manually move back over. Okay, the further over to the left that they are, the bigger this will print. So you don't want them suit too far over to the right because everything will shrink down no matter how big you make these. The part down the bottom, that's the tough part. Because uh, if you want to increase the fonts here, you almost have to do that before you actually start typing. Because if you already have it typed in, you really can't change the font size without making a whole bunch of uh, work for your... If you've already started typing, just keep it as is. I, the fonts will be small. Uh, it's just really something that's unavoidable. If you haven't, uh, click inside the cell you're going to start typing in. Make that font larger, maybe a 14 or 16 size font, uh, and then start typing. Uh, that's, that's kind of important. Uh, also, a super huge reminder. This is a question I get a million times. If you have something misspelled over here, Let's say you spelled something wrong here. This is not where you fix it. Do not type over top of it. Because if you type over top of it and press enter, notice the rest of it disappeared. The rest of it disappeared because it was hiding behind these words here. Okay? So if you have if you have to fix something in this cell, for instance, you have to start where you initially typed it. So go inside of this cell here where you started typing, double click here, then you have a blinking cursor. Once you have a blinking cursor, then you can go back and click where you have the to fix it, and then you'll be able to fix it inside of that cell. Okay, it's an optical illusion. When you're done, just simply click away, and uh, it'll be spell corrected. That's very, very important. You don't type into any of these cells over this side because it'll erase everything else after it. And when you go to print, there might be some gaps in between that might not look great. All right, now you're ready to print. The most important piece before you print is to make sure you click on the page layout and you change the width and height to be one page by one page. Uh, you may have done this last class. If you haven't done this step, it's very important because we need to only print this on one page. The second most important thing to print is to make sure your cursor is inside of any cell. Okay, not double clicked, but just click on any cell. Make sure no chart, no single chart has been selected. Just make sure it's in any cell. Then you do file print, and this is what the final product should look like. You should have your uh, title and graphs up top, or sorry, your data table up top, your graphs down below, and your paragraph below that. Uh, when everything looks acceptable like this, then you can make sure you print the laser lab too. If something's wrong, if your charts are getting cut off, that means you didn't go to the page layout and change it to be one page by one page. It's set to automatic for both of these. Let me show you what automatic looks like. Uh, File, print. See how my charts get cut off here? Because there's two pages, and the second page it'll come out. It'll look like this, which would be unacceptable. Um, so make sure you go to page layout, change these to be one page by one page, and that should hopefully answer most of your questions. Once you're done, you can go play the uh, flash-based games that uh, I have unblocked for you and uh, this sub should be able to help pass those out for you. Good luck!